think some of the biggest challenges that we've had uh, in terms of adopting buffalo grass, people adopting buffalo grass, is the fact that it's a warm season grass species. And so in our region in Nebraska, the winter time temperatures, the, the, the cold temperatures, um, tend to stimulate the winter dormancy response in buffalo grass. And so buffalo grass will go into kind of a strong dormancy in early fall when we start getting that first hard frost and then it won't break dormancy until later in the spring. And when it's dormant, it has sort of this straw color appearance. And so when it's adjacent to say a bright green, tall fescue, Kentucky bluegrass lawn, that's a contrast in appearance. If we think back to a few years ago, 2012, when we had that really significant drought, people were clamoring for buffalo grass and clamoring for new varieties that had really good drought adaptation and good drought tolerance. And buffalo grass is probably among the best for drought tolerance for any turf grass species. So some of the other benefits of growing buffalo grass are that it doesn't grow very high. Uh, at full maturity, it's just eight to 10 inches typically and that's including the male inflorescence, the, the seed heads that, that form on buffalo grass. It is a big commitment to transition from a cool season lawn to buffalo grass. You basically have to spray out your, your lawn and kill it um, and then seed into it. Or we also, since buffalo grass is also sold as sod and vegetative plugs, you, that's another option for establishment. And so you can vegetatively plug your lawn instead of seeding it. So our biggest challenges during establishment is that buffalo grass is fairly slow to establish and because of that it gives a lot more time for, for weeds to take hold and, and establish and then weeds outcompete buffalo grass. Uh, and so weed control during establishment is critical in order to have a healthy buffalo grass stand. Some of our newest varieties of buffalo grass uh, have better establishment rate, higher canopy density, better shoot density better mowing uniformity and for our producers they, they have better production value so they produce a lot more seed they have better sod strength and some of the other characteristics that are important in a turf stand uh, our newest seeded variety was released two years ago in 2014 and that was Sundancer buffalo grass uh, again it's a seeded variety and it's really better than a lot of the other seeded varieties that have been on the market um, up until this point because it has a uh, much faster establishment rate. So typically buffalo grass is not known for having rapid establishment. And so that's really an important characteristic of Sundance or buffalo grass. Uh, it has good dark green color. It's broadly adapted. It's been shown to perform really well in, in several different states throughout the country. The main priorities of our buffalo grass breeding program are to develop improved shade tolerance, improved traffic tolerance. Those are both important characteristics for any turf. Uh, shade is one of the biggest challenges facing any landscape, so trees provide a lot of shade. We love our trees, but they outcompete sun and so turf's hard to grow in those environments. Uh, turf grasses are generally unique from other grasses in that they tolerate traffic. You can walk on them. And so improving traffic tolerance is, is critical for the success of any turf grass. And so we've been making great strides in our breeding program to advance shade and traffic tolerance.